driving it, yeah? Yeah, bro, we'll go for some take it easy this afternoon. Oh, wow, you've, oh, this is billet. Yeah, so this one's got um, billet. It's right a quarter. It starts all right, but hey. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen this done ever. No, it's a, um, it's a peripheral port uh, quad rotor. That's something you don't see a lot, hey? Yeah. Uh, there's 70, 79,000 New Zealand dollars. Bro. Yeah. Uh, there's so many good cars here, I don't know where to start. There's four rotors, there's three rotors, there's, there's turbo rotors, there's everything. There's supercharged rotors. So I've got to come up with some kind of plan to show you guys the best footage. <laughs> This is my car for the day, brother. Oh, all yours, bro. Bro, I can proper rate this thing. Like, <laughs> limited bashing. Man, you can pop an engine, gearbox, a diff, whatever we can replace. We just can't replace the body, eh? <laughs> in vain. All right. All right. I'll let you film. You have the camera, Sweet, man. So, want to do it? Say, so, boys, wanna... thank you. Okay, let's... That's all it. Oh, you know. I was in an RX-8 yesterday. This is my 
pass for the day, brother. Man, fucking live it up all day. Yeah, that's what you have. You're gonna take it too. No, no, well, it was me, car. Good meeting you, brother. Well, nice to see you out there, man. Yeah, bro. What's this yard, Shane? That's Kelly's mates, um, it's a supercharged 13B I believe. Don't know if it's on a horsepower or anything. Nothing about it bro. We can have a chat to them later. Because you're doing your supercharged one as well. What, what, that motor, how's it going and what's it going in? So we haven't had time for it. But the car's not finished. You know what I reckon is a mean idea? Make these lower intakes a kit for people to buy. The long one takes eh? Yeah. If you can fabricate it so other because I've got friends in Australia that want to buy that lower kit. Sure. Yeah bro. Okay. I'm just see what we can do. What about these? Tell me about these. On here, Shane. I think we're Well that there. We're smoking. Car's alright. <laughs> Why is it smoking? <laughs> what have I done to it? Fry a coil. How do I fry a coil? How do I do that? Uh, it's got crank lines without spark lines. That's part of the first coil. Now it's done the second. Soft that. Bro, and that was going so good. So what does... See that second coil? Yeah, so how, how did it happen? One? Oh, the plugs were out one day. I cranked it. I didn't know it, had, it didn't have any plugs in it. So these smart coils, once they, you crank them without spark plugs, they crap. Mm. It happened to the leading one. I only replaced leading one. And obviously the second one was probably on its way. But people should know about that. So you oh, shouldn't crank know. them when you take your, yeah, but I didn't know about that. You well, don't you crank it. Spark, don't crank it with the uh, leads off the plugs. If I can unplug that, it should be sweet. I'll just unplug the one coil. Yeah. It'll fire on three, it'll get us back. Alright, you drive, you drive. Let's ride a coil. <laughs> oh shit, there's always like wondering where they're like. Just running the wire and that. Cheap. How are you? How are you? Very well, back? thanks my friend. Yeah. So we've got to fix that, we've got to address that. So just explain that to me, Chi. So what happens when you, so you try to crank with a spark plug not plugged in, and yeah. what happens? What, what, what's... It's a dual, the computer dual, dual time too high, and it just fucking fine the day. That didn't go quite to plan. That's one of those things, but Shane, I'm really sorry, bro. I didn't break your car. You'll fix it. You'll fix it. You keep going. Bro, yeah. tell me about it. Did you build it with the uh, blower on? I don't know how to go about it, but it's uh, just 12 inches. What sort of boost and power does it make? What is it about, I guess, so you bought it with the, the motor already in it, yeah? What was it about it that you, uh, that you liked? There's something about rotaries blown. It's kind of like the um, unachievable almost, like there's only a limited number bro. The bro is going.
registered? Like it's straight yeah, registered? Yeah, straight registered. So. Do you ever get pulled over because the, I guess the... No, I haven't been pulled over yet, I've had a few stops slow down and have a look, but they never pulled me over, so... Yeah, it's pretty sweet, eh? Oh, it's mean, bro. What I'll do with it eventually is, if I can find a turbo block, I'll probably try and build a turbo block and just get a bit more, a bit more grunt out of it. And keep it 12A still? Keep it 12A if I can find one. I don't think there's not a lot of 12A turbo stuff around, but... Uh, yeah. There's so many cars here, bro. There's like, there's going to be over 400 here. And I'll try and... There's a bro, I know that's 13B. Hey, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, bro. Everyone loves a blow, don't they? Yeah. Like, it just, there's just something about a blow. I haven't checked out. I've got to go look at that R. It's more wagon with that other... Yeah, bro, I was in that yesterday. Oh. Yeah, that that manifold's mean. Yeah. That pink thing, fuck man, that's awesome. And that 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 green one, that limited bash is hard. But bro, <laughs> so many good people here, man. Yeah. So many nice RX3s. I've never seen so many. Hey, fuck, and all genuine. That's for sale, my bro Benny. Benny's brick lane, um, water move. That's me. That's on nitrous. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, that's similar to... Man, and 323s, three, hey. Three, yeah, I, here, eh? I can't believe it, man, how many there are. So in there, yeah, RX3s, 20B, that uh, yellow FC is, uh, turbo, like four or five RX3s in there. All these number plates, bro. What's the plates on this? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go over his bag. Car, man. Thanks so much, man. But uh, we've mounted a plug. Yes. Melted a plug. Yeah. Because it got too hot, so it melted the plug as well. So we're we gonna be good. We've got a coil, which is in a plug, new plug. So do, do, you me, it. do you want me to chase one or? Yeah. Do you know somebody that's got one? And this is a shout out as well. You've got some stock of the merchandise, uh, the Misfire. So people can come here. Have you got hats and stuff as well? Everything here, brother. Okay, sweet. We've got, we've got all the hats, all the bucket hats are here in stock now. And all of you guys that have been waiting online for the bucket hats, I've sent it all out so you should already have it by now. And then we've got the new green limited edition ones as well. Uh, yeah, and a whole bunch of new uh, goodies out very shortly online with the new uh, Misfire logos. Me, bro. Have a good weekend, boys. Thank you. Okay, bro. Oh, I think I might have blown a CO8. A lot of smoke, man. Oh, bro, like even a Kimberley when the turbo goes isn't even that smoky. That's bad. Yeah, bro, it's it's just interesting to show people what happens yeah, like yeah. in this scenario. Um, I didn't realise these guys are chasing you down, eh? Like, you've yeah, bro, you've the had the whole, you've had the whole. Ch <laughs> The microtech they pour fuel in for cooling, but um, it, it usually is a bit smoky when it heats up, but not that bad. Not like that, no, nah, bro. That was that was roaring out, eh? It starts all right, but eh? Shit. Oh, I hope you get it going, brother. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Cheers, eh? Next year.
window up. Hey. Leave the window up there. Yeah, so people can't see it. That bit of a shout out to anyone watching it is for sale possibly possibly for sale for the right price same as anything though yeah. we're looking at six figures so that people know yep minimum of six figures yeah six figure how much is it to build just the motor and put a motor in i think the motor the bare block was like 80 grand plus gst or something it's not cheap so he's put a lot of money into this car we want to go out on the track, but they just closed the track. So. How you going, bro? Hey, mate. This is yours as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. Dean went for a ride in it yesterday. Who's that? Dean went for a drive yeah, yeah, in it yesterday, yeah. yeah. I just posted that video up now. That's a mean build as well. Yeah, it's good. Gareth did the boat for me. 
Come and tell me about this, my friend, because Gareth's got some. This is pretty much I've never seen this done ever. No, it's a um, it's a peripheral port uh, quad rotor with a uh, TDI transmission uh, stuff in it, and yeah, it's not quite finished yet, but we're just gonna run it in here. Now the drive by setup. That's, yeah, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah fly by wires. It feels good on the pedal. Feels nice because you don't feel anything, right? So yeah, it feels pretty good. And he was saying as well, it's got the RX8 pedal box. Is that the same one? Has it got an RX8 pedal box in it nah, with the Bosch? I don't think so. You don't know. Oh, okay, it might be something else that's in it. No, nah, it must be you. Um, okay, so what sort of uh, fuels it running? Horsepower that it, uh, it should yeah, do? I don't know. He's done a few different things. He's got the injectors, uh, the primary injectors straight on the ports, and he's around with some of the um, the sizes of the leaders and stuff. So he wants to try and get a bit more out of it. He's hoping to get some high end. Uh, talk uh, where they used to run out, just hoping to keep, keep it going. Um, Fuel that it's running? Uh, just, just your pump gas. Yeah, pump gas. Yeah, he's just basically running in, he's just got to go and just pace. Uh -huh. Doesn't do any no pulls, nothing. Are you going to do a little bit of driving in it today at all? I hope so. Hope yeah, just to run the K's through. up yep. on it. Yeah. Yep. Um, exhaust, did he run uh, stainless all yep. the way through? Yeah, he didn't get the time to finish it, so he's just, uh, he just put one muffler in and he's just. Straight pipe at the back, the way I like it. So, what do you think you'll use the car for? Like, is it is it just track days and stuff like that? Yeah, just a bit of a collector. So, it's always... is it street registered? Yep. Can you, yeah, yep. okay. Yeah, so I mean, you can do that as well. And warranted and all that stuff. Yeah. Much going on in the cabin at all? Nah, is it... I mean, oh yeah. I yeah. sat around my shed for about a year and a half waiting for gear, and he had sort of here to cancel order, so I got bumped at the front, and away we went. So what was it about this car, um, I guess, that you do such a big investment um, in? Well, I had a uh, Series 4 when I was younger and always wanted a Series 5. And then I uh, always loved the Mazda 787 Beetle Le Mans car. So I was sort of trying to fuse those two dreams into one, I guess. Yeah. I think these are mean cars. The handling and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah the FC body is, yeah. I like yeah. that sort of that 80s, 90s, you know, that long bottom, that Trans Am sort of... I like that look, so it? Yeah, bro, handy. Yeah, cheers. Hey, Ash. This looks serious. Uh, getting serious, but it's got the signal out of the easier for the board. I'm just hoping this was that This looks like you're going to run some numbers or something. Like, what's going on? I like, just relax. I take it easy a bit. Like, holy. Is it going to be workable? Is there anything I can do? Ask some people or something for this year? No, no, it's fine. We'll pull that out of it. So you're going for the grip session or something? Yeah. Or you were? They're going up there now, but Shane. Tell me about this. Oh, it's a little 12-way BP in it. It just got built last week, so... Yeah. That's something you don't see a lot, hey? What sort of uh, horsepower and um, engine oh, specs? Like, like 80, like horse here. Still just gonna, so it's not revving the ride out yet because it's a fresh from the build. So, just yeah. yeah, run it in, yeah? Yeah. What's the bro doing under here? Oh, there's a um, drive shaft um, cover on the yoke's just come loose and it's rattling. So he's just gonna whip, whip that out and bang it off and put it back in. Yeah. Are we gonna see your, the RX4 out or? Are you going to rip some skids in it, do you think? Oh, I might do it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I bought some tyres down just in case I feel like doing it. I right. just drove it down from Hamilton, so I can't wreck it. So. <laughs> I was going to say, let's go for a mean rip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll be on the skid pad with you. Yeah, right, easy. Hard. Is this, is this a world's first that you're aware of doing the drive-by on that inlet? Uh, I think the animal was easy one that's running it. Uh -huh. But it's the first one that we've done. Always been a little bit hesitant to use them because we had, you know, really good results out of the standard cable. Yeah. Um, but this car literally had an airbox engine just sitting in there three weeks ago. So we've just been like full noise trying to get rid of the speed. And so it's had about two hours, two, two or three hours on the dyno while guys were still putting parts to it. And we finally jumped on the trailer, we drove up here. And, now I noticed something interesting in the housing, you put an injector. 
just down there. Yeah, yeah, this one's got a uh, different style, or different uh, primary location. So. I haven't seen that before. Is that a first for you guys as well? Uh, no, we have run them like that before. We haven't had the air yeah. issues in it. I've literally only speed flight a couple of hours configuring and setting up the ECU and then I've had so little time on the dyno that it's already got a really good idle, um, good, good idle and, uh, control when, when it's cooler as well. So you've obviously got that adjustability. Um, and on the um, like pedal, pedal ratio feels pretty good. It's in our own um, bracket. So, yeah, a little bit experimental. But it's, yeah, this weekend was just about trying to get the car there so we can drive it and get some run time on it and feel it out and then we can make some changes to it later on. Now can you tell people what are some of the advantages of having a drive-by set up like that on, uh, uh, I guess, the motor? Uh, the, like, probably the biggest, uh, biggest thing is idle control so you don't have to have an extra solid load on that. Um, yeah, and then you can also like, map your... your What about a safety aspect as well? Like, is, is a safety aspect coming to play as well? In terms of if, if there are any issues, you can back off and control those. Uh... Yeah, you've got, um, you can use them for, you know, limiting control for torque, you know, torque limiting or traction control. Um, obviously, anti lag if you've got a car with um, turbos on it. So, there's quite a few, there are quite a few benefits for it. But it is more electronic gear on there. And sometimes the more stuff that you put on these motors, the more problems you have. So, you've got to be careful where to draw the line and keep it simple and yeah, effective. Now, I noticed a couple of things with your engine setups as well, Gareth, is your oiling. Oh, wow, you've, oh, this is billet. Yeah, so this one's got um, billet sort of plates in it. Now, how does this work as well? What are these here? What's going on here with these two fittings there? Yeah, the top one's just a breather port, and the, um, the lower one is a oil feed. Yeah, so you would have seen like on our cast plates, we feed the oil in from the top, so this one's going from the sides. Have you tweaked, I guess, those plates as well up to your spec? Yeah, yeah. There's actually more, as far as assembling and prep work, there's more to them because of the additional wiring and things like that, checking more clearances. Um, so yeah, all those are a lot pretty, there is a little bit more cost than actually putting the motor together. Now, what sort of uh, horsepower are we expected to see out of it? Dollar-wise as well, Gareth. What sort of dollars are we looking for that engine? I like guess just the block. So we do a, we do like a um, base package, which print has pretty much everything you need. Just yeah. pop the motor in there and, yeah. and literally turn key. Um, aside from the coolers and the and the plumbing, um, there's 70, 79 thousand New Zealand dollars. So it's plus tax and freight. Yeah, and there's so many different variable factors in that. What rotors you have, um, you know, do, do you balance everything in no matter what motor you have? 100%. Yeah, yeah, and, and all the um, yeah, even the base packages run, you know, like like clearance rotors. And, How important? All, all, new, all new parts, so there's no second hand stuff on that. How important is it, Gareth, to balance these motors, in your opinion? Yeah, it's extremely important, especially with a four rotor. Thank you so much for your time, bro. So up next is uh, roll racing, and there's two classes, NA and turbo. I'm not sure if it's 20B class or... B party's in the car, bro. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh.